All right, guys, before I start the actual video, because I've already recorded everything, so this is future Forest you're talking to, past Forest has no clue that this snippet is ahead of him in the video. I just wanted to tell you guys that this video is simply just shooting the wind. I download Android Studio. I get into, like, you know, the Hello World application, which is already made for me. I wanted to create it myself and create a, bu a toggle button to toggle the text view that says Hello World on and off. And... It was a little confused. Like when I went to Google some things, like when I did this for iOS, it was so much simpler. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just ignorant to Android Studio as a whole, or maybe I'm just accustomed to the world that is Xcode and iOS. But I don't know, it was kind of weird. So I think what I need to do is just get off camera and study a bit about Android Studio and how to use Java inside it and how to use their storyboard, or I think they call it layout. But I just wanted to tell you guys that we're just shooting the wind i tell a story or two just have a little bit of fun so enjoy the video oh but before you do i just wanted to say essentially my main point of why i'm still uploading this video although it didn't really go as planned i want it for documentation sure i can put it on as a private video but i think some of you could just i don't know enjoy it and just see that i struggled when it first came to android studio like just like simply downloading this you'll see everything i just want this for documentation on my youtube channel so now enjoy what's up guys Forrest here and yes as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title I've gone over to the dark side All right, I haven't really gone over to the dark side and that is Android development, because if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I do iOS development. It's that I'm finishing up the last semester of my computer science degree and one elective, a computer science elective that I chose to take was mobile app development. And in this course, they don't really let you choose between iOS and Java. I, I, I'm pretty sure if I wanted to say, I want to do iOS as a mobile app development course, they would let me, but I want to learn. Uh, I keep saying Java. I already know Java. It's Android that I need to learn. I'm pretty sure they will let me do iOS, but I want to learn Android, at least the basics of Android, in case, you know, I ever need to know it. And if you're wondering what I look at when I'm looking down, I'm currently downloading Android Studio. It is unzipping on here, and we're going to get into creating my very first ever Android application. It's essentially a Hello World application that doesn't say Hello World. It says something to do with my name. I don't know why the teacher requested that. Obviously, the easiest thing to do is replace the words that are supposed to be printed out in the string or what have you into something else. Instead of saying hello world, it's gonna say hello forest or something like that. I don't know. All right, so we have to let Android Studio download. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is turn around and go ahead and watch a little bit of Overwatch League matches. I don't think there's enough time or enough bandwidth to actually play a little bit of Overwatch. So, gotta pass the time somehow. So why not do it by watching a little bit of Overwatch League? All right, we have Android Studio installed and we're in action. I need to really get like a table right here. But just for like a, as a little preface, this was gonna be, not was, I was thinking about making it a live stream, but I wanted the quality if it was gonna live on my channel to be better, which would be this camera. And the only camera I have for like live streaming would be the webcam in my mid-2012 MacBook Pro. And I don't really want 720p, if it is even 720p, video living on my channel. You catch me? So, although I'm going to cut this up a little bit, I'm going to try to make this as raw as possible with a bit of a, you know, just like live commentary. If you're interested in me doing a live stream, let me know down in the comment section below and maybe we can get that rolling on like Sundays or the weekends or I don't know. Also, let me know what time is best for you, like what days. And that'll be very informative for me because I don't know how many people are interested in doing a live stream. I guess that would also depend on the topic as well. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. But here we go. Let's start a new Android Studio project, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, company no bane, whatever. My application name. Hello, world. Of course it is. And I don't really want it there. I'm going to change the location to be right around here. So desktop, new folder, Android apps, create. And there we go. 
So that's going to be my location. So it's easy to locate and next. All right, so I guess I'm, just, I'm probably just going to keep everything default. Ooh, basic activity, empty, empty activity. Why not? I guess, right? Next. Activity name, main activity. Yeah, it is going to be the main activity because there's only going to be one. And then finish. Oh, look, I already built an app. I'm done. It said finish. Good to go. All right, later, guys. <laughs> All right, <laughs> just kidding. We're building Android apps, Gradle project info. All right, so now we have our code editor open. Uh, you can quickly get familiar. All right, I'm going to read through some of these tips, but I'm not going to bore you with all that. All right, enough of these tips. It's basically just essentially telling you, hey, I'm a code editor. I'm an IDE. This is what I can do. And they're very similar across the board. So I'm just going to like learn and roll. All right, so first, I guess what I want to do is go to their equivalent of the main dot storyboard that is to iOS but I'm not too sure what that equivalent would be called maybe it's this no nope, that's not it alright I'm gonna find this real quick I'm also gonna make this bigger oh wait I actually I think this was the activity main dot XML dot XML so I think this is the proper layout place but I don't know why it's not where I could just downloaded the thing why is this not working because I need Android SDK. Ah, uh, failed target. All right, no, still, this this makes zero. Okay, so here's design and here's text, which this, oh, that's nice. This is the text for your user interface, which is very nice to have. I don't think Xcode has something exactly like that. I just think you have to write the code in whatever file that button is attached to. Or maybe you have a, an individual Swift file that has that button. But I need to figure out why this isn't working. Gradle Project Sync failed. You just saw me download the thing. Did I forget to download an SDK? Right down here it says failed to find target with hash string. Android 26 in. Or yada 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 yada. Oh. Finding available SDK, SDK components. And I think. I assume this is the right way to go about it. So let's download yet another thing. All right, first thoughts. This is more difficult than just downloading Xcode. That's one thing. If you hate Apple altogether that you cannot deny is the fact that Apple has an amazing ecosystem across the board. I mean, just this simple installation, like I had to, I, it's easy, I understand that, but it could be easier. And Apple makes it easier, just they download Xcode once, or at least when I downloaded it, I downloaded Xcode once and I was good to go. And then I updated it as, as it uh, went on. And then when it comes to, you know, like something like Apple, Mac OS versus Windows, Windows, updating Windows, like the whole entire new set of Windows, that is a hassle. Apple, you just go to the App Store and then you download the things, but I'm not on that rant right now. Let's get back into this and let's see if this will actually work, which it looks like I have to download something else. All right, all right, sorry to bore you guys. What I'm gonna do is get back into downloading all these different SDKs for my simple Hello World Android application and I'll get back to you. And boom, all right, looks like I just needed to download, I think it was just those two SDKs and here we go, we have a successful build within the storyboard or layout, whatever it's called in, in Android. And let me just say, I'm very happy that I didn't live stream this because I've already been here for, I don't know, 20 some odd minutes, you know, download between downloading and walking away and letting it finish downloading and then walking away during the download of the SDK. Cause it actually took a little bit longer than I thought, maybe cause I'm streaming Overwatch League matches right behind me. Although everything is already downloaded on my computer. It just need to integrate in together, whatever. Now we have this going. I'm just glad I didn't live stream this. If I ever live stream ever, I'm going to make sure everything is downloaded properly and then we can get to work on whatever application we're building. But what I need is a text view. Uh, oh, text view. Can I just click and drag? I don't know what the difference is between these two. If anyone wants to inform me on like the differences or anything I need to know when it comes to Java development, that'd be, or Android development, that would be very helpful. So text view, can I, oh, is this placeholder text or is this, 
I don't know. I kind of want to make it like a button. We'll make this text appear. So, um, I don't know. Let's just type in hello forest exclamation point because they're very excited. And then I need a button. A button. Oh, buttons all the way at the top. Also, is there a way to search through here so I don't have to like actually search? I mean, I can just type and find whatever I need. That would be nice. That would be nice if you could let me know. Oh, look. Wait, this already says hello world right here. Son of a gun. All right. Let me delete this text view. And let me say this. Say hello forest. And then this button. I want to connect this button to this right here. Also, something else that I would probably do, but I don't think I care too much in this scenario, is put it in like a stack view, or whatever the equivalent is to Android, which would essentially take these and make them, like if there's three, for example, because that's normally when I will use it, when it's three or more, it'll evenly space everything as necessary, and it's easier to work with, especially with different size screens. And you know with Android, there are many different companies making different phones and different size screens. So that would be very useful, but not necessarily in this application. All right, before I go any further, actually, I want to run this application to see what happens. All right, so nothing happens. I want to have a simulator or an emulator run this actual create new virtual device. Here we go. Nexus, let's say Pixel XL, Pixel 2 XL, why not, right? Next, uh, which, I, I don't know which one to choose. Let's choose the one that's up top. Yeah, like I said, very, very happy that this isn't on the live stream because these components are taking forever to install, but that's okay because while it does that, I do want to mention one thing. This channel is going to have an assortment of software development, as you may see. My personal brand, or what I try to focus on, what I am trying to grow to the highest extent, is iOS development. But, just like any college program or computer science program, because I'm a computer science student, you learn everything as a foundation. You essentially learn how to learn in college, That's at least in my uh, degree, my program. That's what you do. You learn how to learn. And then while you learn how to learn, you learn a little bit more to build up on top of that foundation. And you really, what you need to do is choose one thing or another. I've chosen iOS development, but since I'm still in college, still pursuing my computer science degree, I have to finish off my degree and do all of these other courses. Not that I don't want to, because I do, but I do want to focus on iOS development, but I just hope you guys enjoy these videos as well. I'm trying to give you guys as much content as possible. I like making these videos. I hope you guys like watching them. And when it comes to iOS development and the mix of all things, although I am getting a good amount done, I don't have too much time to make some of these applications. Or not applications, videos. Because it's either spend this much time on iOS development or spend this much time on iOS development and this much time making an iOS development video. Which I can do but it takes a lot longer to make one of those iOS development videos that you've seen in the past than it is to make a video like this, or it is to make a video reviewing my keyboard, which will be out soon, or it is to even make like a vlog, computer science vlog type video, because there's a lot that goes into those videos, and time isn't really of the essence, or it is of the essence. How does that saying go? Basically, I don't have as much time as I need to make those videos. Not trying to complain or make excuses because I hate making excuses. It just is what it is. All right, so that finished up. We have portrait, whatever. Let's just finish. I'm not going to change any settings, obviously. Wait, nothing selected. Okay. And okay. And now I think we're going to get an emulator. Performing clean boot. Okay. Snapshot doesn't exist. Dismiss that. All right, here we have it. Android is downloaded. I don't know why that keeps bumping up and down. I clicked on it, now it's not anymore. Um, I'm an iPhone user, so Android is, oh, there we go. Android is not familiar to me. Ah, uh, so basically what happened here with the button, one, it's not attached to anything, obviously, but it's up in the corner instead of right where I put it because I didn't put on any constraints or um, is that the same thing as here? Basically, I need to come to the button and I need to say, this is where it needs to be, right around here. 
I'm not going to attach it to the top because I don't want it to go all the way up to the top. And if I've ever learned one thing working in Xcode, as well as even my teacher mentioned this. Luckily, I have a little bit of experience working with uh, emulators. Never close the emula emulator, simulator, whatever you want to call it. Never close it because that's what takes so long to boot up. You want all right. So we want to stop that. We want to play this application, of course, on the only device that is available to me and it's doing its thing come over here boom done deal so I can adjust that obviously it's not the same as this because the size is different but as many of you know if you've done any iOS or Android development that is I attached it a fixed hard-coded 176 to the bottom now that we know the emulators downloaded and that works basically all I want to do in this first application is have this text view be hidden while this button is displayed obviously when I click on the button it displays and hides it essentially toggles this text right here that's all I want to do for now so what do you do when you don't know how to do something you ask the internet or at least Google that is because when it comes to the actual internet I'm not going to be sitting here how do you toggle a button in Android Studio or toggle something with a button because it's probably been answered before. All right, so it looks like I'm going to come back to mainactivity.java. Um, yeah, like I said, this isn't necessarily a tutorial considering I'm learning it right now myself on camera, but we're going to do public void. But to be honest with you, I actually don't really feel like going through all of that right now. I was looking a bit into like simply just toggling a text view with the button online and whatnot it seems way too complicated than what it should be I want you guys to let me know if I'm just looking at the wrong area or if it's like a lot more complicated than it probably should be I understand actually what I should have is a toggle button so if I have a toggle button like chilling down here then I can attach it to this and I can toggle this to be on or off but it's just it's weird <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm just new to it, so that's probably why. Maybe once I get really, you know, much more used to Android Studio and using Java to create Android applications, it'll make more sense. But as of right now, it's freaking weird. And I'm just going to leave the video at that. I know you probably didn't get much out of it. I just wanted to sit here, shoot the wind with you guys, and just talk a little bit about this, a little bit about that, kind of essentially just document. The very first time I've ever used Android Studio, and by the looks of it right now, this is going to be a long semester, but it'll be worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video for what it was. If you did, be sure to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys, have a good one. Peace.